This is Matthew McConaughey. Natalie Portman. James Patterson. Mike Lee in Black. And you are listening to Five Questions with Dan Chamel. Adrena, welcome to Five Questions. Thank you for having me. How has your mom been a champion for you throughout your whole career? Um, my mom has been my number one fan, my number one supporter. She's always, sometimes when I didn't want to watch the episode, I would be like, hey, mom, can you watch the episode and tell me if it's okay for me to watch or is it going to make me like upset? So she would watch it and give me the rundown and be like, no, you did great. You did so good. It's don't be so hard on yourself. Just watch it. So I love her. She's always rooting for me. Yeah, I find it very difficult to watch myself on TV or even on my own show, to be honest with you, or even listen to it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, it's strange sometimes, you know, like I think yeah. we're our harshest critic. We really are. And then once you get past that, you're like, OK, it wasn't that bad. Like, why am I so hard on myself? Just, we need to lighten up sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. And what was it like reflecting on some of the darker days while writing your new book, Choices? And how did you come to grips? with your mistakes? It was hard reflecting going through some of the darkest times because I'm the type of person where I go through something and I never look back. I leave the past in the past and I move forward and I just don't talk about it. I move on. So this is very therapeutic in a way because it's almost like therapy where you sometimes you have to go through it and talk it out to figure out what that lesson was or what it was you went through. You have to feel it. And I was so good at shutting down and closing off for protection, you know, for protection. So this in a way, along with therapy and everything I've been through forced me to go through it. And now I could read my book without like crying or getting upset or being like, Oh my gosh, I can't read this. Um, it was very therapeutic. Yeah. The, the book definitely forces you to do it because you have to write the book. <laughs> yeah, and, and I know. You, and because you've been in the limelight for a very, very long time, uh, you know, you've, you know, been, you know, the face of tabloids for, and especially for everything you've done in the Hills and that whole series. Uh, since you were a teenager, you've really been the limelight. How has that impacted your personal life and career? Well, I feel like it almost made me grow up like faster than other people because when you're on a reality show and you're even if you're going out in the public or whatever you do like there's no everything's out like everybody knows everything and then there's people that are willing to screw you over for money and they act like they're friends to your face and then they you know stab you in the back for to climb the ladder or just to to be devious or for their own ulterior motives and you start really learning who your true friends are and who you can trust. So growing up, I felt like I was forced not to, not forced not to trust anyone. I just stopped trusting everyone and my circle is so small. Um, but yeah, it's like going through a lot of hard situations on TV where the whole world is judging you is not the easiest thing. And then having to relive it and watch it all over again on TV and, and then hearing everybody's comments and judging you and shaming you. And it's like, it really is hard sometimes. Yeah, that must be really difficult. I had a friend who was on a reality show and she told me that they were filming her nonstop, but like, she was like a nice person throughout every episode, but they like got her to do something like throw a glass of water on someone. And that's the part they used. And they and framed her as the bad guy. And I was like, oh my God, like, so like even hearing you speak, it's it's almost not just the people maybe on the show or or some people you interact with, you know, outside of the show, but just the whole aspect of being part of this. And yeah. for because the incentive for the you know producers, director is how do we get, you know, drama? How do we make people want to watch this? And sometimes yeah. the people on the show can be kind of the innocent bystanders, even if they were trying to come off one way, the cameras might show something different. Yeah, it's movie magic, right? I mean, it's entertainment. If you sign up for this, you're like, you got to be all in because you've got to make an entertaining show. So you can't hold back. And that's one thing. It's like, 
anyone that wants to do reality or whatever, you have to be opinionated. You have to be confrontational. You have to stir the pot. It's all about gossiping. It's like, that's your life, but you just can't let it consume you in your real life. Like leave it there. Absolutely. That's valuable advice. What have you learned about building a healthy relationship with other people and yourself during this time? Just trust your gut instincts. If you have a feeling about someone and their energy is off, it's probably off for a reason. Or maybe you just don't vibe with someone. Don't force a friendship. Don't force anything. Just let it flow. Like things will prevail. Like things show themselves to you in time. But like, don't jump in. Don't be impulsive. Just you got to like trust your instinct and kind of give it time. Don't rush into anything. Yeah. And it takes time to build trust. Going back to what you said before, like it, mm-hmm. it's very hard for you to let people in the inner circle. And, yeah. and so therefore you're probably not going to rush to be best friends with someone or be in a romantic relationship. It's probably going to take longer because you, because of what you've been through. Yeah. But then I've met like my best friend, Brianna, like we met on a shoot and we were like soul sisters. Like we were best friends. It's like, we knew each other for so long and like, we've been friends for what? 13 years. So then you have those scenarios, but like, you just feel it inside, you know, you have to listen to yourself. Absolutely. When I interviewed your Hills co-star Lauren Conrad back in 2012, which feels like a century ago at at this point, her best career advice was to get experience when you can. What's your best piece of career advice? Follow through, don't give up because a lot of times people get to that hard point and they get down on themselves and then they switch to something else instead of going through it. It's part of the process. So you really have to go full circle before you give up. I think that's great advice. And thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you.